We're going to turn now to the honoring of John Lewis, the civil rights trailblazer and congressman who died earlier this month at the age of 80. He will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol this afternoon after a weekend of memorials in his home state of Alabama ahead of his funeral at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church on Thursday. Rachel Scott is in Montgomery, Alabama with the story. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning. The memorials for John Lewis, like his fight for justice, started right here in his home state of Alabama, a state where he nearly lost his life, now honors his legacy. The life and legacy of John Lewis celebrated in his home state of Alabama. We cannot give up now. We cannot give in. We must keep the faith. Yes. Keep our eyes on the prize. The civil rights icon who changed the course of history when he crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge 55 years ago, lying in the state capitol after crossing that bridge in Selma for the last time. Red rose petals scattered across the pavement where Lewis bled for the right to vote. In 1965, left beaten and fractured by Alabama state troopers, now, 55 years later, a new generation of state troopers saluting his casket, draped in an American flag, stopping at the foot of the bridge as the crowd told Lewis, we've got it now. Those who marched with Lewis on that bloody Sunday, paying tribute to a man impatient in the fight for justice, who never trembled in the face of fear. 80 years of his life, he gave it to all of us. He gave it to the world. He was the conscience of this nation. He helped to transform this nation. The last time I saw him, he said to me, don't forget to make good trouble. The youngest daughter of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. telling me her uncle John kept her father's legacy alive. There were very few people after my father's assassination who remained true to the nonviolent philosophy and methodology. He carried it forward and legitimated it in this generation of time. And Congressman John Lewis will continue his journey to his final resting place, departing for Capitol Hill, where he was known as the conscience of Congress. George. Okay, Rachel, thanks. You'll be joining us for our live coverage of the ceremony at the U.S. Capitol that begins at 1 Eastern. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.